Hello, praise the Lord. Today I'm in very good mood. Why? Because we're talking about something which touches my heart and touches the heart of God as well. Not that others don't like the heart of God, but this one specifically is an interesting one. My name is John Nathan Owara. I am the regional ministry coordinator for Scripture Union Uganda, Northern Region. I am married to Faith Irene Owara and have two beautiful daughters and underline the word beautiful. Today we're talking about church, church, C-H-U-R-C-H. What is a church? How can someone best understand church? People have tried to explain church. Of course, the church is the body of Christ. The church is the body of Christ. Christ is the head and the church is the body. But let me help you understand church just a little bit better. And I'm going to use the acronym CHURCH. So what is church? Let's begin with C. Church is a place of choosing. You choose to belong to church. Each one must choose to belong to a specific congregation. You choose to belong to that congregation. You choose to belong to this congregation. You must choose. No one should force you to belong. <laughs> you choose. If they force you to belong, then you are in the wrong place. You don't belong to church. So church is a place of fellowship. And it's a place where you serve, where you do something. Either you are in the choir, either you are in the ushering, either you are in the parking, either you are wherever you are, in the, an instrumentalist, or you are on projection, or you are on camera, like the guys behind here. Church is a place where you serve. You don't just go and sit on warm benches. You must serve. You choose to serve. You can't just sit there. Church is a place of choice. You choose. Fellowship is the center of the church. You must choose to go for fellowship. You can't say you belong to church and you don't fellowship. So if there's midweek fellowship, go for fellowship. If it is Sunday service, go. That's part of fellowship. It's the reason the early church grew in large numbers in a very short time. What? Because they chose. Why? They chose. Fellowship is oneness of mind, of heart, and the spirit of God with other brethren. I will repeat that. Fellowship is oneness of mind, of heart, and with the spirit of God among brethren. That is fellowship. And that can only be fun and good and enjoyable for you if you choose to belong. So fellowship is about having one mind with the rest of the members of the body of Christ. So church is about choosing. H, church is a place of healing. Church is a place where our diseases are healed. There is nothing that is too difficult for God. We know this. What's impossible with man is possible with God. So I cannot believe that people would leave church and go to the witch doctor. It's in church where you get free services. Healing is free. And if anybody is charging you money for healing, they're in the wrong place. That's not church. Because church is a place of healing for free. Freely we receive, freely we give. But it's important that you support the work of, 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 of spreading the gospel through your giving. But that's not what I'm talking about today. I'm talking about healing. Healing from all diseases. And I mean mental I mean emotional and physical healing. There are people that need physical healing. They are sick. They have cancer. They are lame. They have headaches. They need healing physically. They need healing. They have skin diseases. This can be got in church because church is a place of healing. Then there are those who are emotionally broken. They have been abused. They have been hurt. They have bitterness and anger inside them. This can be helped if they choose to come to church. Church is a place of healing. Mentally. People, many people get accidents because they're mentally not right. They left home when something is not right. And that's why, because it's a spiritual atmosphere, the Spirit of God needs to minister to you. 
at a spiritual level. And that's why church is the right place where the word of God is taught because the word of God brings healing. When you come to church, you shouldn't go back the same. When you come with the diseases, you should go back healed. That is church. Church, H, the same H. Church is a place where hard work is expected. Church should never be a place of laziness, but a place where we encourage hard work. People come and are lazy bodies. Paul says we should not be lazy bodies. We should work hard. Church is a place where pastors, reverends, priests should be teaching us to work. Church is a place where we learn because our God is a working God. He worked five days, six days, seven days, so hard to create what we see. In six days, God created all that you see, including you and I. So church is not a place for lazy bodies. So if you have people who just come and pray, 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 and they don't want to work, that's the wrong place. Chase them away. They must go. The Bible says, if you don't work, you shall not eat. So church is a place of hard work. Hard work is an attribute of God. And he works so hard. So should we who are created in his image. Hard work is an attribute of God. Hard work is a character trait of God. If you're not working, <laughs> then I don't know. God is not your father. Because after working six days, he rested on the seventh. Now for you, you are resting six days and working one day. That's not of God. That's why you remain hungry, you remain poor, you remain in problems, you remain in debt because you don't want to work. Holding other factors constant. You, church is a place of understanding. Each member of the church should learn to understand and accept even the most badly behaved. Where will people go if we don't welcome them and understand them? The world is harsh. The only place people find acceptance is the church. But we send them away. Because they are smelling, we send them away. Because they are fornicators, we chase them away. Because they are prostitutes, we don't welcome them. We talk about them, we backbite them, we gossip about them. Because they have done one or two things and they have failed. Because they cheated and, ref and failed to pay your money. You send them away. You chase them away from ministry. This is not right. Where do you expect them to go? Where can they go? You're supposed to understand. The body of Christ should be understanding. The body of Christ should be able to welcome people the way they come. These days in church, the more money you have, the more you're welcomed, and the more you're understood, and more, the more opportunities you get. This is not godly. This is not of God. The beggar, the pauper, the rich man, the poor man, the rich woman, the ugly woman, the tall, the short, the lame, all of them should be understood. The one from a good background, the one from a bad background, all of them should be understood. Why? Because the church is the body of Christ. Church is nothing without Christ. If Christ could understand you and me with all our bad manners, why won't we understand other people? Church is a place of respect. R is for respect. Church is a place where we respect Everybody. Respect is an aspect which should start in the church and then go outside. If you don't respect in the church, then you won't respect outside. If you don't respect your pastor, respect your reverend, respect one another, the pastor on the, on the, on the right, on the left, behind, in front, then you won't be able to respect people. That's why we have guys that talk anything outside there. Why? Because even in church, they are preaching, they are on their phones, they are WhatsApping. So I don't even have respect for a building where the body of Christ meets, where the church meets. The church is not a building. The church is you and I coming together for fellowship. So if, I'm, if we're coming together, we're all coming from different backgrounds. 
you need to respect me and I owe to respect you. Now don't say, if he doesn't respect me, I will not respect him. If he doesn't, that's not how it works. Do you respect Jesus every day? Do you love him every day? No, you don't. But he still does his part to love you and respect you. So respect. Church is a place of 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 character development. Character is, is, is behavior. Church is a place where we shape and we mold people. Church is a place where we mold good character. We get people from bad, bad backgrounds and we mold them into good people. They come ugly, they come out beautiful. They come funny, we change them into good. They come thieves, we shape them into faithful people. Church is a place of character development. We need to mold even the worst behavior. We must understand that church is a spiritual and physical hospital where those that have all forms of disease can come for healing. Especially character. Because the character. <laughs> there are guys who are very badly behaved. You can't even, you even don't want to employ them. But Jesus says, come as you are. I'll give you rest. Come as you are. Just come, come. 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 If you picked a fisher, fisherman, if he picked a tax collector, if he picked you and me and worked in us and shaped us, now we are in ministry. We are singing on the pulpit. We are playing drums. We are playing keyboard. We are preaching. We are ushering. If God can transform you into what you are, can transform me into what I am, how much more other people? He can't do the same. Church is a place of character development. And lastly, church is a place of honesty. Telling the truth. You come with your lies, you must learn to tell the truth. Which better place to learn to speak the truth other than church? Which better place to learn to be free other than the church? Because you shall know the truth and the truth shall set you free, scripture says. So church is a place where we learn honesty. If you've been given 5,000 to go shop, how did you spend it? Some people take it for granted that ah, it's church. It is our money. Your money. <laughs> learn to be honest with what God has given you. Learn to be honest. Church should shape citizens who are trustworthy. Church should shape politicians who are truthful. Church should shape husbands who tell the truth. Church should shape wives who are honest. It starts in the church. It starts in the church. Church should shape people of integrity. People who are able to stand firm even in every decision making process. Whether you're under pressure or not, you should be able to stand on truth. And church, H, the, another H, the same H, the last one. Church is a place of happiness. Why do you come and you look like, like you are looking? Some of us, the first you come with the church, when you look at milk, it just goes bad. Don't bring such attitude to church. Church is a place of fun place of happiness, of joy. That's why when we are dancing, it's a place of happiness. And we dance and we shake and we bless the Lord. He has given me victory. I will lift him higher. Jail. And we dance and we dance. If you're from Northern Uganda like me, then you sing songs like Obangana Banga Yakobo, Obangana Gina Loipe, and you dance and you put energy. That's why us in the north, we put a lot of energy. Why? Because church is a place of happiness. When we come as the body of Christ, you see us jump and dance and sweat. We are happy for what God has done for us. Happiness. The joy of the Lord is my strength. How can you be happy when you are clapping your hands like this? And you, the same, are we at a funeral? No, church is a place of happiness. So when guys come, when the body of Christ comes to meet and fellowship 
and enjoy his goodness. There must be happiness. And let me tell you, the Lord gets happy when we are happy. Because he wants to see you happy. So when you come, even when you're carrying a huge load on you, come, come, come and enjoy the happiness of the Lord. So church is a place of choosing. See, church is a place of healing from all diseases, emotional, spiritual, whatever. H, church is a place of hard work. You, church is a place of understanding. Church is a place of respect, R. And church is a place of character development. And lastly, church is a place of honesty and happiness. I hope you go and make church what church is supposed to be. God bless you.